What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the good, the bad and the stupid. It's Tuesday the 21st of April. It's the day after yesterday, don't you know? Hope you've had a good one. I was up late last night mucking about with that fucking microphone all bloody night. So uh, I um, hopefully I've got it sorted today. So um, uh, uh, yesterday's one wasn't too bad, but it just meant I was recording until way fucking past my interest levels. I'd, I'd lost total interest in doing the, the podcast yesterday, but I carried on because <laughs> that's the professional, unprofessional that I am. Um, don't forget anyway, if you've not been here before, that there's videos, there's mini videos, there's fucking Twitter, there's Facebook. I've got it all now and I can't keep up with it all. I can't, it's all like my head's in a washing machine. It's on spin. I like trying to, you know, people say, oh, you should put this on, do things on social media, do things on there. You've got to post five times a day on Twitter. You can't, it's a full-time fucking job to do all that. I, I, I fit it in, but then I forgot to do it the day before and it gets all like that. So I think I need a... Uh, an organizer or a, a secretary or something like that maybe i'm going to have to employ my other personality to get busy because what there's me who's trying to do everything and then there's the other personality who is literally fucking making me do other stuff i mean i was meant to be doing stuff for this today and i've been shopping online instead he's got me going and buying things that i, I don't necessarily need like trainers and sunglasses and uh toiletries i bought some toiletries um well i thought I saved myself going to the uh, supermarket because fucking there's a massive queue i went to the supermarket the other day and the queue was just round the block and i just thought i can't be fucking bothered you know i gave up i went to the smaller shop which was more expensive but <sighs> saved myself three hours so you know what's your time worth and also what was i going to say i bought some hair stuff some hair product thing and like I didn't know I was reading the reviews to check you know what's it like to see if it's any good because you know you've got to get the right one for you ain't you <laughs> and we're all getting locked down here aren't we it's all getting long I mean fucking luckily I had mine cut just the day before um the lockdown but you know we're five weeks in now and if there's another few more it's going to get fucking a bit we're all going to start looking like the Bee Gees or we're on our way to Woodstock but Anyway, I got some stuff and I had to check it out online and uh, I was looking at the reviews. It got loads of good reviews now. So I read a couple. The first couple that I read was one said, uh, and he said four stars he gave it. And he said, uh, um, didn't use it, bought it for my husband. He didn't use it either, <laughs> but four stars. Why the fuck even bother writing a review? That's not even a fucking relevant review. Then another one said, bought it to waterproof my walking boots. Um, and it's great, <laughs> does the job. So um, I thought, well, if it's if it waterproofs walking boots, at the very least, I've got a, a fucking two uses out of it. So I'm probably going to have like really waterproof hair because I've ordered it now. Um, it must be like fucking total grease or something. Well, I don't know why somebody would buy that and think, you know, I'm going to. What can I use for my waterproof? Why don't you just like buy shit that is meant to do your walking boots anyway? <laughs> you know, there's stuff already for that. No, I'm gonna buy some fucking really greasy pomade hair salon stuff and put that all over them. I think I might clean my boot. Uh, what's it called? I might put my boot polish in my hair. Do it the opposite way around. So yeah, so you can't really. I always don't believe them reviews. You know, like when you read something on Amazon and that, and there's like loads of reviews. Some of them, the re the reviews are that good. They just think that's bollocks, you know. That's fucking somebody who works for him or something. It's like they're in love with it, and it's only a fucking tough brush. How can you be like so like giving it all the uh, you know how much you fucking? Oh, what was the other thing I saw that um, somebody just gave like a love letter to a product, and it was just ridiculous, you know. And it was like a nothing product. I can't remember what it was now. I should have had that one in my mind but uh it's locked away i'll tell you what as soon as i finish this podcast it's going to come back so maybe i'll do a little bonus round i'll tell you tomorrow um anyway another funny thing i saw was a guy in prison who uh, swallowed he swallowed a bag of weed 18 years ago and he, he, he no he, sorry he snuck some weed into prison up his nose and he thought he'd swallowed it um because he just disappeared or whatever Anyway, it was stuck there. It's been stuck up his nose for 18 years. And they call it like a, a, a nose stone. So he's like, 
Well, he didn't know he had it. He probably just had like a fucking sore nose for ages, and like fucking all of a sudden, like the it must have swollen into what this nose stone is, and they've like done an operation or procedure on him and found that he's got a bag of weed stuck up there. So I wonder if he smoked it, or whether they took it off him. It's legal. I don't know where he is, but you got to let him smoke that. Fucking, hell, he's had it eighteen years. That's almost like a part of him. That's like part of his body. <laughs> That's like fucking. His twin or something, you know, how old is he? If he was 18, that's almost like his twin. No, he couldn't be 18 because he wouldn't... It, that's like, with your parents sticking your fucking weed up your baby's nose then, wouldn't it? You can't do that. That's fucking child cruelty. <laughs> but although, they do it to get into prison. They fucking put it in the nappies and all that kind of stuff. I don't think they go any further than that. But, but anyway, no, he was sneaking it into prison. They get it into prison fucking anyway, which way, shape or form anyway. There's never a short... Not that I fucking, I've, I've ever been, but... There's never a shortage of fucking drugs in prison. They have a right old fucking ding-dong in there. It's like fucking spicing up their life. You know, they're all on fucking spice, weed. That spice is like called synthetic cannabis. It couldn't be fucking further away from cannabis the way I see people. I've seen, they're like zombies. If you've ever seen somebody on, on Spice, they look like they're fucking, they look like they're, um, their brain's just fucking imploded and they're just like fucking, you know, lying on like the, the concrete floor. Worse than any alcoholic. I've seen alcoholics in some states out in the street, but fucking, they're just lying on the floor, like in their own piss. Just jibbering with their eyes in the back of their head. Tell you what. Makes you want to fucking try it and see what the fucking fuss is. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Makes you want to try it to see whether it's just them. Like fucking... Um, what's it called? Whether they've like... They can't be like... Whether it is that stuff because synthetic cannabis, it just can't be the same thing, can it? It's like they're fucking taking PCP or, uh, you know... Angel dust stuff or something like that. It's like, but it's legal. Well, it used to be. I don't know if it's like still like you can buy it on the internet and stuff like that. Anyway, um, I'm not going to be experimenting with that. I think that's way beyond. I think um, the faces that I've seen are enough to fucking put me off dr all drugs, that are, even alcohol. <laughs> I mean, alcoholics haven't put me off alcohol yet, but that stuff off them faces. Anyway, they should put a mask on because, uh, speaking of masks, what's it called? Hundred, uh, the, the doctors are telling everybody that they should, or beg, or not begging, they're asking people not to go out without a mask. Well, that's going to be the new thing, and that's going to be the uh, um, the deal. You're going to have to. Soon, well, that's imagine the economy could literally start going straight away if everybody was wearing a mask because nobody can really pass it to each other, can they? If everyone was wearing a mask. And if everybody's wearing one, then you don't have to feel stupid wearing one, you know, because a lot of times you might think, oh, nobody else has got one on in here. Uh, I'm not going to wear one. But uh, most of the time, I mean, outside, I don't even know if you need one out in the streets, do you? But I guess it's all grey area. If you're in close proximity to people, it's best... Maybe that everybody wears one, especially if everybody's on the fucking public transport and all that. I wouldn't want to get on the on any trains or on any on any any tube at the moment. I would just like think, I'll just my head would just be thinking, he's got it, he's got it, she's got it, he's got it, he's on spice. Look at him, he's lying on the fucking floor. He's the probably only safest guy here. I think I'm I'll I'll, I'll sit next to him, whereas I wouldn't normally go near him. But everybody else, you know, the slightest snivel. Even with even with yourself, you get like a little twinge now. You're thinking, oh, is that fucking, is that that, <laughs> is that this? But it is, you forget that all the other illnesses there is to have. You've got hundreds of t to choose from. You know, there's a fucking encyclopedia of different like colds and flus and sexual transmitted diseases and fucking hangovers and whatever else. But as soon as you get anything, you're gonna think fucking COVID nineteen, COVID nineteen, <laughs> shit. I'm fucking coming down with something. I've just literally thought to myself, I'm fucking hot. I thought, fucking hell, I'm, I'm getting a sweat. I've been at the end of fever. And I thought, oh, no, I've, but I've left the heating on. That's what it is. So I went over to the heater, went to turn the heater off, and it's off. So I, I am hot. <laughs> but I have just been running around a lot, so uh, I'm going to put it down to that for the moment. If I start, am I sweating? You'd have to... You ain't gonna know if you're listening on the podcast. On the video, am I sweating? Have I got like flushed? Anyway, this guy fucking is flushed. He's literally he's flushed and he's flush. 
a salesman who won four hundred thousand pound in online casinos where it, when he was bored during lockdown. Fuck it, that's it. That's my evening sorted. I'm fucking getting on the bingo and that or on, on something online. He's uh he struck lucky in two games just a few days apart. Oh, how can you have it twice? I fucking haven't had any luck in many many fucking moons, and he's got two two days apart. I wouldn't even play it again after the first, but well. I suppose you won that much money. You ain't gonna. You got money to burn it, yeah. But he won two hundred ninety-four thousand on an online machine, slot machine, and then he won another one hundred and ten thousand on a roulette game later that week. That's like fuck me. He's got a third one to come surely, and hopefully it ain't the virus. <laughs> hopefully he's like fucking got another lucky one because he can go either way, good and bad luck. Usually when I get money like that, a big win or big bit of money come through, I get a fucking equally amount of uh, bill land. I once had like about 800 quid out of the blue. I think it was a tax return. I was like, fucking nice one. That was like well fucking needed. And around about the same time, I think this, I think there was two letters and the other letter was like a bill for 850 quid. So, you know, it was like in one out the other plus 50 quid. But I would have been 800 quid down, so it did me a favour anyway. So that's good. Well, fucking there you go. Try your luck. But sometimes I think they they give a win. He's, he's got lucky there, but I think uh, they give somebody a win like that. So fucking idiots like me and you, don't fucking uh, say you're not thinking about it. Jump online and start fucking gambling because you've heard that. And that's what happens. They, they send one to win like 400 grand and then they'll take millions back off everybody else jumping online and trying to play so I think he's had the lucky uh, the, the tickle you know it's like the, the, the what's called the fruit machines in the pub and you're playing it and like you know fucking uh, if you see somebody who's just been on there and like they've been putting loads of money in you just go on it don't you and thinking hopefully the machine eventually will come around and give a win so you can you know if you stealth that's what people used to do Stand at the bar and just watch the fruit machine and see he's put about fucking 25 quid in there and he ain't won nothing. Next thing you know, you go up, you go up, put 50p in and win fucking the jackpot. And you like that? Yes. It works. It does work that way. You know, he's, I've seen people put their whole wages in the fucking fruit machine and then still lose and then somebody else go up and do that. Uh, pigeon lover Mike Tyson uh, revealed he once knocked out He's a bin man. A bin man for chucking out his dead pigeon. <laughs> his dead pigeon was in a box and the bin man was doing his fucking job, actually. The janitor of the of the building. And um, he moved the box with the pigeon in it so he sparked him. Not even like just fucking gave him a tickle or like, you know, threatened him. He knocked him out, he said. He said he was, what did he say? He was convulsing on the floor like an infantile retard. <laughs> fucking, that's like hardcore. That's like fucking... I mean, it's Mike Tyson, isn't it? But unlucky move. I mean, you know, he's looking. He's on the floor, like again, like these people on Spice look like they've been fucking knocked out by Mike Tyson. They've been knocked out by um, <coughs> what is it called? Um, fuck knows. They're probably like in the red. They're going around the ring with Mike Tyson while they're lying on the fucking concrete in the middle of the shopping centre. I bet you know because the brains are just like into dream mode, aren't they? Because you can't, you can't. Like, they must be enjoying it. You know, it's, it's like heroin when they're fucking sparked out, totally out of it. They're having a great time. They don't look it. They look like they're fucking dead, but they look. But actually, inside, they're having a fucking. You know, they're at the merry-go-round. Um, so yeah, so he's in, he knocked him out, and then another guy who he hasn't said what the plight of this guy was, but he said, and another guy, that guy just picked up the dead bird. The another guy ripped off the head of one of his pigeons. And he said that's the only other time he's attacked somebody, and like it doesn't say what he did to him. But I wonder if the guy, <laughs> I bet the guy fucking hasn't got his head. I bet his head was ripped off as well. <laughs> Probably he's like just like I told you a little bit about it, but didn't say oh yeah. But then I got that janitor to fucking dump the body for me. Otherwise I said I'd knock him out even 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 more and put him in the in the bin. So the other guy ripped his pigeon's head off. Probably ended up in the dumpster. Uh, here's another tip for you. Eating curries like madras, which contains fenugreek, can make you fitter and stronger. That's good because I'm having a curry tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah. So maybe I'm, that's feel like I'm doing a bit of a workout. 
It's a men. I tell you what, I doubt it. Fucking curry house is like you fucking get fat as fuck from a curry house. But they're good. But you eat enough of them. They were. Um, but it's all the spice, isn't it? Isn't it? I mean, you got to make your. You can't like live on Indian takeaways. Maybe if you're making your own ones, where you're not putting all the shit in it that goes in it in the takeaway, but. Indian food, that's my fucking favourite. I'm from Birmingham. Everybody, that's like our, as I said before, it's our second language. Um, Indian food, it's like fucking top of the pops. When we, um, we, it'd be like that better than English food. Fucking hell, I've, I've even, uh, I've got loads here. I thought I had nothing to, to talk about and I've got bloody tons here. I've been rambling on about some other shit. It's in fucking, I'm still picturing that guy on the fucking spice on the floor. <laughs> I wish he'd get out of my head. He tripped me out. He's like, I don't know if I'm having like, you know, feelings to uh, to smoke the stuff. Hopefully not. He might have fucking sent me some, uh, some passed his like, addiction onto me as I walked past like the COVID-19. He's chucked his fucking spice addiction at me. And I'm having, that's what I'm getting the sweats and I'm feeling hot. A housewife has been accused of animal cruelty after making her pets dog perform sex acts on her. How does she fucking... How does anybody know? Well, housewife, I guess the fucking husband was filming it then. <laughs> They're saying the... You know, why, why do they have to bring him involved? Why do they have to say, like, a housewife? Anyway, she smeared her body with liquid to attract the dogs and then filmed herself. Uh, filmed herself being licked by them. So, uh that's pretty fucking grim that might have uh, even put a, put me off the curry a little bit <laughs> I'm about to eat not long after this and I'm like you know I don't want to fucking have that image in my head either fucking what, what, what was she using they're in Thailand maybe it was like uh, a mango or something <laughs> something what was the dog what was the dog like you have to be dog food wouldn't it imagine that smearing dog food down there and having to fucking the dog to come for it that be would be that would, really would be uh Want to fucking forget. Or, like, you know, they probably should probably fucking enjoy it to fuck, but I don't know where. They should put it online or what? Publishing porn online. Yeah, they put it online. Fucking nutter. <coughs> keep that shit to yourself, you know what I mean? All your neighbours and everything are seeing that. Probably going, keep, keeping the, pulling the dog away from them when they're walking down the street. Fucking hell. Or maybe she's a dog walker, imagine that. And then all of a sudden you're thinking, what's she done to my dog? Uh, a woman horrified, it's on the same level, a woman who uh, horrified to discover, well, not quite the same, but she accidentally bought a sex toy online on her mum's eBay account. <laughs> so she's like fucking locked down. Imagine if she got on there and saw that her mum had already bought one already. And she was like fucking competing. But like she bought, what, she bought a rampant rabbit. Imagine if you bought like something real fucking hardcore, like some of them ones that are like a big, big arm with a fist on the end, or something real shocker, like your mum's gonna know what your what your preferences are and whatnot. So yes, yeah, she's she's ordered rampant rabbit on uh, on her mum's eBay account. So first, first, whoever a mum's gonna who, what's it called? The mum's gonna oh, her mum's been making fun of her ever since. <laughs> so she's told her. I was gonna say she'd have to like wait till her mum hide around the corner when her mum's signing for it and just fucking jump in. Somebody ordered one once, I think, and it was like it was going off in the box. The postman was delivering it, and it was like it was like you could hear it whirring around and everything. Um, oh, I can't remember now. I know that but there was something else attached to that. I can't remember what it was, but let's just say the postman knew what was going on. Put it that way. I think you're not meant to have batteries in there or something. I don't know what it is, but the thing was on. You're not meant to post anything with batteries in, so they uh, um, had to take it apart. And found what it was, and it was like, and then they delivered it with the wrapping all off to embarrass them. Um, right, okay, where are we going? Nearly finished. Poo it. I'm going to bring the, the uh, bring the, uh, what's it called? The tone down, if I could bring it down any further. Pooing in a sink, fighting and riding bikes between shelves are among the reasons people have been kicked out of libraries. Well, the fucking make a, a staff have also banned people for verbal abuse, intimidation, urinating in a lift, and being drunk. Well, what what are, at least they haven't been doing anything to the books. 
Imagine they were doing shit in the books. Probably like fucking good place to hide your drugs in a book. On you know what I mean? Just gonna like put it in there. The home like the drunks and everything that hang around in the town or the drug addicts. They go in and put it inside like an encyclopedia and put it back on the shelf and just keep going back and and libraries you would imagine are a good place to do drugs as well. I, who do I? How do I know? I wouldn't know. But it's all quiet, isn't it? And everybody's like minding their own business. And there's not really that much going on. They could probably like sneak off to the, the toilet, but I think you've got to have a key now. I think they're onto that one. You've got to have a key to the toilet. Um, I know because I went, in to, I went in to use the toilet before and I wasn't a member of the library and I wasn't looking to borrow a book. I literally just wanted to use the toilet and I had to go up and ask for a key, go up three floors. And like, I'll tell you what, it wasn't worth it. I might as well wait until I got home. By the time I'd fucking got the key, got the toilet and whatever else. I thought I might as well have just fucking... They make it hard for you, let's put it that way. And that's me being normal looking. If you look like you're a heroin addict, they're probably going to go, sorry, I'm not going to give you the key. I know what you're up to. Even though heroin addicts need a piss as well, I just don't trust you. Right, I'm going to leave it, I think, on that one. Where are we going? Yeah, I'm going to leave it. I've got loads more to say. I thought I was going to struggle, but I did struggle. <laughs> but hopefully you stuck around to the end. Hopefully you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you again tomorrow. See you later. Bye.